there's a sort of a, a terrible truth about the world that we, you know, we have to confront in filmmakings everywhere else. That your ideas are eventually going to be judged for funding or awards or whatever by other human beings who have got their own predilections. Now, unfortunately, the people who run these organizations, you know, they don't all come from the kind of backgrounds that maybe we in this room might come from, whether it's a, a working class or, uh, you know, or ethnically diverse or whatever. Unfortunately, much of the time they come from fairly conservative, fairly well-off politically maybe conservative backgrounds. So you're, you're battling that. You might be lucky, you might find someone who uh, isn't like that. Now, Ken Loach is a terrific filmmaker, but because of his world-class Palme d'Or winning sort of status, people who fund his films, in a way, want some of that sunshine and glitter to attach to them. They may not agree with, with, with some of the stuff, not always. So you're always going to have a, a, a problem, unless you're dealing with something that is sexy. So right now, climate is sexy. So no one's going to really object if you want to do something about climate, because after all, who's going to disagree with saving the planet? But if you touch on something else that's politically more sensitive, uh, I don't know, just pick anything, prisoners, rights, uh, immigrant rights, asylum seekers, war, uh, protest, uh, you know, all of these things, all of a sudden you're, you're in an area where people, people feel that if they support your film, they are somehow endorsing your film, and then they're suddenly starting to worry, do I want people to think of me and our organization as someone who's aligned with your political ideas? That's where it gets tricky. And at that point, you have to hope and pray that you launch a campaign on Kickstarter and that you, for example, as, you uh, did. as I did, and you get support from that that gets you going or, or raises all your funds. I mean, this film has cost, will eventually cost, give or take half a million pounds, but the true cost is well over a million because of the deals. If I, if I, if I, had had, if I didn't get deals on my archive, I would have had to, it would have been close to a million. If I, I mean, I've paid myself very little to live. Cameramen have done deals. So, you know, if you want to make a film with different kinds of production values, uh, you can't rely on Kickstarter. You, or you might have, you know, friends who might have, you know, no investors. But if you're relying things on things like the BFI or the BBC or whatever, and you're intent on making politically interesting films, you're going to struggle. Michael Moore had to build his own reputation before the Weinsteins got, got, got involved with him and Miraman, uh, sort of, you know, the studios got, got involved. So I hear you, and it's a problem. But there is no answer, unfortunately, unless you find someone who believes in you and the subject and is willing to, to give you the money. So as I said, or your subject is something that is in vogue and is fashionable uh, and everyone wants to get into it. Um, but if, if it's something that splits people or it's controversial, then you're going to 